Take us through sure. the average day of working for Harvey Weinstein. So at the beginning, the, the original list of names that he wanted to investigate, it was, was small compared to how it ended up. And there were, say, six or seven people, mostly men, a couple of women on the list, and they were all very high level. Hello? Hello. Hi. Oh, hi, thanks for calling back. Um, I say, hi, my name's Seth Friedman. Um, I'm a reporter in London. I'm looking into a story in life in Hollywood today compared to how it was, say, 20 years ago. No one's suspicious. People in, in the industry are used to being called by reporters, and they'll decide, yes, I will speak, or no, I won't. So my job is do your reporter cover and feed it back to us, not here's the bigger picture. So th that was all I needed to know, and that's all I knew. Is it fair to say Black Cube operated like a, a military operation? It is fair to say that. I think that the way the Black Cube is set up, it mirrors the experiences that the founders had in Israeli intelligence, but the, the same in intelligence and military system, um, apparatus across the world. It's not beat around the bush, uh, Black Cube. It's run by some pretty hard bastards. It certainly is. Um, I wouldn't want to be on the wrong side of them, but uh, luckily, well, hopefully I'm not, so, yeah. Do you feel like you intimidated some people in this investigation? No, no one was intimidated by me. I mean, again, on a case by case, if someone came to me and said, this is how I felt intimidated, da, 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 I'd say, OK, well, here's the tape and here's the email and here's this follow-up conversation. You're lying because you're selling a book or you want your name back in the headline. That's, that really is what it comes down to. I don't intimidate people. If I did and that was proven, then I should probably be arrested for whatever the crime is of intimidation or harassment. But it never happens. So. Every story has good guys and bad guys. Where do you think you fit in? It depends what story is being told. I, if there was suppression, how come everyone's out there telling the story? If there was harassment, how come everyone was so comfortable talking to me and carried on speaking to me, you know, months and even years later? If the, and there was similarly, there was no intimidation. I mean, none of these things happened. Hello, I'm Sarah Arbo. Thanks for watching. To keep up with the latest from 60 Minutes Australia, make sure you subscribe to our channel. You can also download the Nine Now app for full episodes and other exclusive 60 Minutes content.